Hi everyone, it's Juan Ciel again, and Happy Thanksgiving! I really hope you all are enjoying the turkey right now, or enjoying whatever you're eating. So, we're gonna do a double review this time, this Thanksgiving. The last two Thanksgivings, I've only done PlayStation 2 reviews, but now this year, dedicated to you all, I'm gonna do a double review of two WWE games made the same exact year. WWE Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain, and WWE WrestleMania 19 for the GameCube. Now both games were, re were released right around the same time except they were released one month apart. SmackDown was, was released in October 2003 while WrestleMania 19 was released in September 2003. Both games are almost similar. Both music is identical. They both have the same music except except SmackDown Here Comes the Pain has, has a little bit more exclusive music and they have a few more um, superstars in SmackDown Here Comes the Pain than WrestleMania 19. So, so in the front cover you see Brock Lesnar because Here Comes the Pain is one of is one of Brock Lesnar's slogans, and it's the final SmackDown game before the SmackDown vs. Raw series began, and the only you know SmackDown with the SmackDown game to not have a slogan from The Rock. So in the cover you see Matt Hardy and Rey Mysterio. Um, the Undertaker choke slamming John Cena, and that's the sexy Tori Wilson right there, and there's Brock Lesnar himself. WrestleMania, you see Kurt Angle, Steve Austin, and The Rock. Both games were two of the last games to have The Rock and Steve Austin as active wrestlers before before Steve Austin retired while The Rock was just a legend. And The Rock didn't return as a main superstar until until 2011 and 12. So yeah, both games are pretty good. SmackDown Here Comes the Pain is a little bit more fast-paced, and WrestleMania 19 is a little bit more challenging because the superstars block a little bit easier. The graphics aren't that similar because in WrestleMania 19, the majority of the superstars look like they're on steroids. <laughs> so here's the back of both games. So here we see, um, so here in both of these games, there's Rey Mysterio, and then there's Steve, um, I think that's, um, no, that's Kurt Angle getting the F5 from Brock Lesnar, there's Sergeant Slaughter, and then there's Brock Lesnar signing contracts with The Undertaker, a bra and panties match, and here's Kurt Angle right there, and I assume that's Kurt Angle doing the move to Brock Lesnar, and there's Stephanie McMahon, well there's one other move where there's um, The Undertaker doing a, doing a last ride on one of those security guards, because in SmackDown, here comes the pain, there's an actual um, story mode while while um, WrestleMania 19 had a revenge mode where Stephanie McMahon orders you to fight other, you know, other security guards all around outside of WrestleMania because your contract expired. There's Shawn Michaels doing a diving elbow drop on Chris Jericho, and they're both developed by Ukes and published by THQ. Isn't it cool that both games were, were developed by the same developer, except that they don't have the same exact graphics and the same exact controls? And not to mention, there's not as many superstars in WrestleMania 19. And it's amazing how Hulk Hogan appeared in WrestleMania 19 and not SmackDown Here Comes the Pain because I assume um, the GameCube game was developed earlier before the PS2 game. And um, Hulk Hogan's in this game while, while he's not in the PS2 game. Hulk Hogan was originally going to be in the PS2 game as well as Jeff Hardy, but both of their contracts expired. Even... Um, even the Ultimate Warrior was supposed to be in the SmackDown game, but licensing issues and copyright and all that, that didn't happen. Rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior. You were awesome. You were incredible. And as for WrestleMania 19, there were a few other superstars who actually made it into the game, like like Christopher Nowinski and, um, and um, Don Marie. Remember Don Marie, one of those divas? She never appeared in the PS2 games. She only appeared in the GameCube and Xbox games. How unfair. Both games are still incredible, they're fun, they're fast paced, even though SmackDown Here Comes the Pain has a lot more, you know, a lot more variety of modes as well as a story mode, it's still good. WrestleMania 19 has better create options as well as creating entrances and better um, fluid controls but still hard to, you know, beat opponents as well as a not so fun revenge mode where you fight backstage, kind of like an, a wrestling version of Double Dragon or whatever you call it. One of those, you know, beat 'em up games, because Revenge Mode's kind of like a beat 'em up game, but with wrestling moves. As for SmackDown, here comes the pain. It's good. Both games, I don't care which one's better. I don't know which one's really better than well. 
but the one game that I really like to talk about next time in my game review, we might talk about either SmackDown vs. Raw or Day of Reckoning, because those two games were also made the same year and had similar music, but SmackDown vs. Raw had more music, so we'll talk about those games at some point later this, this December. So. That's all I have to say about these two games. They're both made the same year, developed by Duke by Ukes Media. Both fun, both awesome, both memorable. And I hope you all, once again, have a happy Thanksgiving. Peace out and rock on and, you know, have a good holiday season.